Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today, we'll be remaking Sheck West's track Mo Bamba, so let's get straight to it. First things first, let's go ahead and set our tempo to 146 beats per minute. And we're gonna start off with that main sound that we hear throughout the entire record. And uh, it is a two bar pattern. And we're gonna go ahead and bring in that channel strip setting right now because we did a tutorial a couple videos ago. If you did not see that, click the link in the top right hand corner and you'll be able to see how we put that sound together. But um, here it is right here, the Sheck West Mobamba lead. And uh, let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. Let's go ahead and copy that over. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and draw in the low note here that hits three times. It's down to the E. And we're gonna hit once over there. Once over here. Right, and once over here as well. All right, and there is our main pattern. Next, let's go ahead and create that uh, that really thick bass sound. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new softer instrument track. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just bypass the, um, where is it here? The isotope vinyl, so it's not buzzing the whole time. Uh, but let's remind ourselves to uh, turn that on at the end. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer and we're gonna bring in that preset we pretty much use in a lot of remakes here. It's the Drake Moog Bass. And uh, let's close that up. We'll adjust that in a moment. Now this pattern is four bars long, so let's go ahead and just duplicate that. Let's go ahead and draw on this pattern. So we're gonna go from a low note. We're gonna go. right up here so, and then it goes down but I think it goes like this now with the sound All right, let's go ahead and just open up Logic's ES2 right here and just uh, manipulate this a little bit here. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of drive. And I'm gonna leave it like that, I think it sounds good. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add in EQ and uh, just filter some of that low end because we are gonna bring in an 808 and we don't want that to crash. this 24 dBs per octave. Get some of that low end. All right, next let's go and create a new softer instrument track. And uh, let's do that sort of one hit pluck that happens throughout the pattern. We're gonna create a new, uh, we already did that. Let's go ahead and bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer. We'll work with that one again. As you can see, this is one of my favorite soft synths. And, um, Let's go ahead and draw in that pattern first, and then we'll adjust our ES2. So we gotta go to a really high octave here, and uh, this happens on the downbeat here. Make it a really quick pluck. Let's go ahead and just repeat that. All right, so open up our ES2, and uh, let's get to manipulating the sound. We are going to use all three oscillators. 
uh, because in the deconstructed video, I actually watched it before doing this one just to make sure I got everything. They're using a lot of outboard analog gear and I wanna make sure that we kind of match that as close as possible. So we're gonna use all oscillators using the same oscillator and then we're gonna use this analog knob right here to kind of detune the, the, the differences between the oscillators so it sounds more like it came from an actual analog uh, synthesizer. Outboard synth synthesizer, whoa, can't talk today. All right, so let's go ahead and make them all this oscillator right here, the triangle oscillator. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and pull up our analog or detuning knob to make it sound more analog. And we'll make it a little bit quicker here on the decay, sorry, on the delay. All right, that sounds pretty good like that. We don't have to do really anything else here. Let's lower the release time a little bit as well. Let's go ahead and bring in some reverb. Uh, let's use Logic Space Designer, just the default stuff that loads up. And we get something like this when it's all together. All right, so that sounds good. Let's go ahead and start getting to those drums. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. Let's unsolo all, all of this. We don't need that soloed. Uh, we're being Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument, and we're gonna bring in the Mobamba drum kit, make it nice and loud. And we are going to start off easy with the, um, oh, what's happening here? With the clap. So let's double click that and put in the clap. I'm just gonna go ahead and put in some reverb on this here. All right, so that sounds good like that. Next, let's go ahead and duplicate this track. We're gonna take off the reverb and let's bring in those hats. Hats is a fairly simple pattern. It's an eighth note repeat and with some switch ups here and there. Let's just draw that in. And let's just shorten that up. So we do have a quick stutter over here. I, mean, I think we have another stutter right over here. So let's just copy that over. All right, that sounds good like that. Let's go ahead and duplicate that track. And uh, let's draw in the kick. All right, so let's go ahead and just change this back to a pencil tool. Uh, we're gonna do one of these. our kick right there next is going to duplicate that track and we're going to bring in a secondary clap that happens on the downbeat except this goes nice and quiet in the background on that as well. All right, so now all we need to add is the 808. So let's create a new software instrument track, bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer, and um, bring in the 808 preset. And let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. Now this pattern is eight bars long, not 10, 
<laughs> eight bars long. And um, let's get to uh, putting in that pattern. Right, so let's go down to a nice low octave. And let's start on the E. And we go down to the B, so it kind of follows the bass, but hits with the kick as well. All right, now we're going to bring in this back here. Let's just focus on the last four bars. adjusting that a little bit now it's a very heavily distorted sound so we're going to pull up the drive pretty much all the way we're also going to add in some more distortion by pulling this up pull up the release we don't want to end out so quick It sounds awful right now, but we're going to go ahead and add in an EQ. And now we're going to filter a lot of the highs so that it doesn't interrupt our Moog bass that we put in earlier. And uh, let's just drag that all the way down to maybe that's good right there. So that really just serves as the bass end to that Moog bass along with the 808 and of course the kick. So now if we want to go ahead and bring that all together. All right, so that's pretty much the track right there. Next, let's go ahead and just quickly arrange this. Uh, let's see if I remember how this went. All right, so for the intro, we had, let's push this back here. Push this back, we had the offset clap. And the bass came in. And I think the drums came in here, but not the kick. There's a dropout before the the kick came into play, so let's go ahead and drop that out here. I think it was a quick drop. I'm not sure. Drop that a little bit more. Let's drop it right after the clap. I don't think the kick came in just yet. We're going to push that over. It's going to repeat it itself. And then it comes back into play. Let's go ahead and copy this over. I'll just copy this over one more time for the tutorial's sake. And let's just say that is the arrangement. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Listen to me. And listen to the remake we just put together. Check West's track, Mo Bamba. Let's go.
So that right there is Shaq West's Mo Bamba. I don't think I put the drops here correctly. Uh, so it wasn't the track. I know there are two different ones right here, so I don't know which one is right. Uh, but uh, you get the idea of the remake for Mobamba by Sheck West. For your logic users out there, I'm going to go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. Place that as a downloadable link in the description box below this video. For your non logic users out there, got your back as well. I'm going to go ahead and uh, export all the MIDI stems, audio stems, and of course include the drum kit that we used in this tutorial. You can find that entire play pack in the description box below this video. If you do have any questions on this or just want to chat, let's go and talk in the comment section below if you did like this video remember thumbs up share and if you're new to our music mogul remember to hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one i'll talk to y'all soon later peace